Hi, in this session we are going to have a quick look at how to calculate the present value of a forward contract or a futures contract. Now it's the same formula that you can use to calculate the present value of a futures contract as well. So we are going to go through this section and first look at a long forward contract. In other words, when we say long forward contract, what that means is we are buying the underlying in the future. And then we will look at the how to calculate the present value of a short forward contract. In other words, we are selling the asset in the future. So remember, the forward prices and the futures prices, they keep changing on a daily basis in the market. So what, so what I mean by that is, so here I'm just showing you a diagram that the price and maturity, in other words, time. Let's assume that you want to buy corn, a particular quantity of corn in 12 months time. So you want to enter into a corn futures contract and you want to buy the asset, buy the asset. So you want to enter into a long forward or a futures contract. Remember, when we say long, that means we are going to buy the underlying. We are going to buy the asset. So when you, let's let's say now it's January and you want to purchase it in December, in 12 months time. So you enter into a contract and that price is fixed. So that's, that's here. We refer to it by the letter K. So that price is fixed. Assume you are in January now and you want to purchase it in 12 months time in December and you have entered into a contract. So that, that's part of the fixed, that's part of the contract and that price is fixed, that's not going to change. But the December futures price, which is F0, the, because now it's January, assume you're in January and you want to buy it in 12 months time, so that's December. The December's futures price will keep, it's going to keep changing on a daily basis. So in other words, the futures price will change on a daily basis, the forward price or the futures price. It will keep changing on a daily basis. So every day, the present value of your contract will change based on the futures price in the market. So because of that, your present value of your futures contract is simply the difference between the forward price in the market. So in, in this case, what does the market think the December corn price is going to be? Minus what you have agreed when you entered into the contract. And then you multiply the old thing by the exponent of minus risk-free interest rate times time to maturity. Remember, because these are both going to happen in the future, so you need to discount it to today. So that's the reason we are using the minus signage, the risk-free rate, interest rate, and the risk-free rate of return, and then time to maturity. Now, T depends on when you're going to calculate it. If you're exactly calculating just after you enter into the transaction, then you're somewhere in early January, so you have 12 months. Then T, T will be almost 1. It will still be in years. But if you're calculating somewhere in June, then you have another six months to go, so T will be half a year. End of if, if you're in end of June, you have six months to go, then T will be 0 0.5. But your K will be the same, because remember, this is the price that you have entered into the contract in January. So that's why we are saying here, price is fixed in the beginning. This is the price agreed in the forward contract. This doesn't change. So this will never change, whether you're calculating the present value of your forward contract in January, February or even in November, in October, your K will not change. What will change is your forward price will change daily because this depends on based on the market's demand and supply, what the market thinks the December price is going to be. And of course, you know, that keeps changing on a daily basis. The other thing to remember, the present value of a forward contract is zero at the beginning. In other words, when you enter into the contract, at that moment in time, the present value of the forward contract is zero. Mm -hmm. So this is the formula that you should use when you're calculating the present value of a forward contract for a long forward contract. 
Now, the same time, if you want to calculate the present value of a short forward contract, remember, remember when we talk about a short forward contract, basically what we are saying is we are planning to sell the asset in the future, sell the underlying in the future, so sell the asset at K. So the formula is almost the same, but now it's K minus the forward price, K minus F, because when we're selling, we will we will receive money so it's k minus f f is the futures price in the market that keeps changing on a daily basis so it's k minus f and then you multiply the whole thing by the exponent of minus risk free interest rate times time to maturity so remember the k will not change whether you're calculating the present value of a long forward contract or short forward contract because k is the price that you enter into the contract in other words k is fixed but your futures price will change daily and whether based on whether it's a long contract or a short forward contract the formula slightly will change the the easiest way for you to remember is that if you're if you're long the forward contract then you're definitely paying this money minus k so that's minus because you have to pay this money at expiry so that's minus k and if you're if you're short forward contract you're definitely receiving this money so that's plus k you can think of those as those two concepts so you don't mix up these two formulas and then this is the way you calculate the present value of the forward contract